Hi guys, this is a tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius for October 2021. Hit like, share, and subscribe. Comment below if this resonates. If you're interested in personal reading, this cards, which I actually made, or a um any of my merchandise, which includes spell candles, please contact me at Queen of Swords Divination at gmail.com. I'm gonna go ahead and get down to business and start. Uh, this is your past energy, Aquarius. I felt like you were dealing with somebody that was very narcissistic or just very controlling uh, in your past. I feel like this person was kind of out of control themselves, so they wanted to control you. I'm getting that. They were being very foolish and very stupid with their time and resources. I feel like this person could have been some type of gambler as well. Um, I feel like you felt like this person was very immature, uh, so then you decided to kind of end things here. Uh, with the world this could also be that this person is uh gaining some type of insight through like some type of journey here because i'm seeing the fool and the world so this is like a whole journey that has been completed or like you know <laughs> this is the first card this is the last card a whole journey somebody completed a journey uh i feel like in the present moment you might not feel like the situation is moving forward as fast as you want it to. But I do feel like um, I need to follow your intuition here because some things are about to change. I feel like whatever uh, restrictive cycle you were in with this person, because I'm seeing that this is the same person. I'm seeing like this is somebody from your past that keeps continuing to come back. It could be a soulmate of yours. I feel like this person is has gone through this awakening because the hangman represents Odin in the tree. Um... Uh, he hung himself and then you got the runes. <laughs> okay, so you got the runes. So I feel like this person is going through some type of awakening. I feel like this person has already kind of gone through it actually because this hangman's in reverse. This person may also be in um either locked up or um going through uh a situation which kind of made them kind of go within themselves. Uh I do feel like the person that you're dealing with could have been dealing with uh drugs or alcohol or some type of suspense substance that was um kind of messing up their judgment um i feel like this person does have a lot of love for you but i feel like they did not have enough love for themselves so they were not able to kind of give you the love that you deserve i feel like however though aquarius i feel like you're pretty solid within yourself and you're not kind of letting even though this person kind of wanted to bring you down you did not let them you and this person were going neck to neck here Okay, and the crazy part is this is like your soulmate or your twin flame or something because here's the emperor, here's the empress, and here's the high priestess. It's some type of a connection that was like made, you guys were made for each other. <laughs> but I feel like in the past you guys were at war with each other, for sure. I feel like uh, in the future, God or universe or creator or spirit is going to be working with you. The universe is on your side. With this title card, we have the sun. I feel like uh, good things are coming. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. And I feel like uh, you and this person are going to be working a lot on your um, temper and your explosive tendencies. I do see that here. I feel like uh, the situation in the past might have not been um, kind of like an, an equal give and take. I feel like whoever this person was was trying to... Kind of bring you down with them but i feel like this is like a karmic cycle that is over and uh i feel like good things are coming so i'm gonna go ahead and clarify some of these cards for you uh let's see let's clarify this emperor in the reverse could be dealing with an aries or somebody with strong aries in their chart we have uh, the magician in reverse this person was very manipulative this person was also very smart this person was strategic and i feel like this person was also very materialistic feel like this person is somebody that was uh kind of used to having to fight to or like just fight in their home like they might have had some issues in the past where you know there was a lot of abuse in their home or they're just used to being like this to people um let's clarify this high priestess yeah there's a lot of conflict here i feel like like i was saying before whatever this person was aquarius it's like a love hate thing with this person and i feel like you and this person were going neck to neck you guys were going at it I feel like uh, you're not going to put up with their shit anymore. And I feel like this person knows it. This is why I think like this person has this hanged man. 
here. This person's gone through a lot. I feel like if you guys are in separation, this person really misses you, Aquarius. And I feel like that in itself might be why this person is awakening to this connection. I feel like you're almost put on a pedestal at this point. This person really misses you. This person wants to come together with you. And the universe is stopping it from happening because this person has to work on themselves and uh, their toxic behavior, pretty much. Anyway, I did pull out two cards here. Time is ripe for celebrating life. Make the most of parties, gathering, and other opportunities. I feel like you're not really focused on this person. I feel like you're focusing on networking at this time, Aquarius, which is good. I feel like this person is coming regardless. I feel like this is something that's destined, and I feel like you deserve it. <laughs> A new beginning or even a new life may be blooming for you, Aquarius. And I feel like after some time and uh, a lot of kind of work on the on the background by the universe, you're going to see that everything will happen how it's supposed to happen and that this karmic cycle is over and great things are coming. Anyway, thank you for listening. Again, like, share, subscribe. Have a great day. Bye, Aquarius.